hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here do not forget to hit like and subscribe so today i'm going to be showing you my new deluxe spa pedicure and all that it has to offer my newest pedicure of the month so let's get started So the first thing I'll always do is grab one of my client pedicure packs and begin to take the stuff out so I can begin the pedicure. So I'm going to start by removing her gel polish on her toes. To remove gel polish on the toes, I do use a carpet cuticle safety bit. That is my go-to bit for hands and feet to remove any type of gel polish. So this client in particular, she has what we call like a hidden pinky toe where it's very deep within the skin and it's very small. So it's hard to kind of remove the polish, especially around the cuticle and the sidewall. So I just remove what I can and then I just keep it moving. So the one thing I wanna just point out to you guys is when you're doing a pedicure, you don't need to 100% remove all the gel. A lot of heat on the nail plate is really not good. And honestly, you'll see by the time I'm done with the pedicure, all those little bits and traces that I leave behind will be gone. So I mainly drill off what I can I, if I feel like I need to be in one area for a long period of time because it's just not coming off I'll leave it and try to get it off in another step so I just remove what I can and then I move forward And just note, no, I do not normally skip the big toe. We were talking and I just totally, she forgot that she had a big toe. So I ended up going back to it afterwards because I just totally skipped over it.
So all my spa pedicures usually include some type of leg mask. So I like to put the leg mask on and let that penetrate into the skin for the entire pedicure. So before I have her put her feet in, I go ahead and I just put that all over her calf up to her knee before she puts her foot into the water. So here's everything that is included in my pedicure kit. I prepare several for every weekend. So everything that I need to do a pedicure is there right next to me. Everything is disposable except my implements. And it's just been a life saver ever since I started doing this. So I go ahead and prepare my drill bit that I use and I'll talk about that in a second and just prepare everything so I can begin the pedicure. And again, these pedicure client packs, they are on my Amazon storefront underneath client service packs. For a callus treatment, I like to use a spray. I do have several on my Amazon storefront that I have used. Um, I've been sticking with this one for a while now because it's good and it's really cheap. It's like $5. So I just spray that on the bottom of the feet and sometimes I'll rub it in, sometimes I won't depending on the client and just let that kind of do its thing while I do everything else. So I always begin by clipping the toenails and making sure everything is even and the length is good for the client. Now I am applying some cuticle eliminator and rubbing that in before I push back the cuticles. So this is the part where whatever polish is still left on the nail, like you can see there's still some gel polish on the side of her nail. I use my cuticle pusher because once it's kind of like a little wet from the cuticle softener, sometimes it'll naturally just come off so much easier. So I could use the other side of my cuticle pusher or when I'm scraping, it'll come off. So again, it will come off. I just don't like to get too close to the sides near the skin with the e-file because I know if it's not coming off, I'm gonna like burn them and it's just not good. But it eventually will come off most of the time when I'm either pushing back the cuticle or when I use the next drill bit.
so next I'm going to nip the cuticles and the side walls with my nipper and also anytime somebody has maybe any type of nail that's on the, on the side where it's a little too deep into the skin and I can't get that with my clipper I'll use my nipper from underneath and I'll just kind of take the sharpness of the square away with my nipper as opposed to using the nail clipper So after I do all of that, I like to go in with my e-file and this is something I've been doing more recently, maybe within like the past eight months or so when I had got the Kiara Sky mini sanding bands and I felt that they kind of really sucked to be honest for the nails, but for the feet, love them because they're so small I can get into those cracks and I like that it allows a nice clean look because you can nip all the cuticle you want but it's just not going to give it a nice clean edge on the nail so I like that this bit allows me to get that look remove anything extra that I didn't get and I just use it to kind of finish off the job. And again, this is the last time that I'll probably go in and make sure I'm getting all that polish any little bit because this bit is so teeny tiny that I'm able to get anything that I wasn't able to get with the carbide bit with this bit. Now I'm just gonna take a mini nail file and just file those nails, make sure everything is even, make sure the edges are not sharp.
So after all of that is complete, I'll go ahead and file the bottom of the foot. I use about an 80 grit foot file um, sanding paper. And again, this is on my Amazon storefront. This is underneath pedicure, I believe. And I love this thing. I love it so much because in combination with the callus spray and this uh, type of grit, it works really, really well. It's not too aggressive for somebody that doesn't really have bad feet, but if somebody does have bad feet, it will do the job as well. So it's like my go-to grit for doing pedicures. And I just wanted to give you guys a different angle of me using it. I do make sure that they scooch down a little bit because if you do do pedicures like me and all the time, it's not good on your back to kind of hold somebody's foot up. That's just not feasible for a good pedicure and for yourself. So I make sure they scooch down so I'm able to get the heel and everything else with the foot file. So once that's done, I'm going to put a little bit of cuticle oil onto the toenails, rub that in, have her put her foot back into the water, and I'll repeat this entire process on the other foot. Once I'm done with the other foot, I will take a little bit of water and just put it onto the calf because at this point, the mask has dried out. It's done its job. And a cool way that I've realized to work with masks like this is to just wet it a little bit and I'll use the sugar scrub all over the foot and the leg and it kind of wipes off the mask as well as exfoliates the calf and the skin. Sorry, my shoulder is in the shot. I was, it's so hard to film feet. This is why you don't see many feet videos on my page because it is very tricky to get a good pedicure or anything with the feet. It's really hard to shoot and not be in the way and still do your job. So I apologize for me being in the way in the shot but I'm just scrubbing all of that stuff in. Again, making sure I'm rubbing all around the calf and everything, getting her feet and doing the most on the calf so that I can, you know, get that mask off easily with water when it's time.
So when you are removing a mask, just simply ask your customer. She barely has to scooch up a little bit, but all I'm doing is kind of lifting the water straight up and just wiping it down. That's all I'm doing repeatedly. And because I kind of scrubbed it off with the sugar scrub, it comes off very easily. And I'm just kind of lifting up water and wiping that off of her leg. So once all that's off, I have her remove both feet from the water and I'll wipe everything down with a hot towel, making sure that there is no traces of scrub, mask or anything left on her feet, her toenails or the skin. Now I'm gonna spray a little bit of oil into my hand just to wipe it onto the calf and the bottom of the foot and the top of the foot. I am avoiding the toenail area. We do not wanna get any type of oil onto the nail plate because then the gel polish will not adhere well. I just do this. Sometimes I'll use a cooling gel. I like to give them something because the whole time I'm polishing until I lotion, they can get very dry and then it starts to get a little itchy when your skin is just fresh out of water and it's like very very dry so i just give them a little bit of something so that they're not totally dry Now I'm placing a pad down just so that I can prepare her for polish. I don't like to polish on top of towels because sometimes depending on the person's toes, if they bend too much, it can kind of get stuck in the little hairs of the towel. So I use these, they're actually pet, um, like wee wee pads. And depending on the type of pet that you search on Amazon, like a rabbit pet pad or a dog pet pad. and amazing love them and what my assistant does is she actually cuts that in half that's only half so i get double for the price that i pay so i use these for my pedicure just all the time because it's been so much easier and then i don't have to worry about any remnants from the towel or anything getting onto the toenail while i'm polishing so after i put that down i'm just going to wipe her nail plate with a little bit of acetone and swipe separate her toes dehydrate her toenails and put primer on in preparation for polishing
after all that's done, I put a little base coat on and we do one foot at a time. And boom, we are done. She chose this very pretty lime green bright color. So after polishing, I will remove the toe separators and give her a light massage. Sometimes I will go longer with the massage, but because of the deluxe spa pedicure, it does include an actual foot massager machine, which you'll see in a few minutes. I don't really do too much. I'm just kind of lotioning her up and giving her a light massage. And by the way, the products that I'm using, I actually get from my local store. They sell it like in a four pack. You get the soak, scrub, mask, and the lotion. And the intro of the video is the product that you saw, but I don't have a link for it. It's just something that I get locally. After I'm done with the massage, it is time for paraffin. So I have my two hot towels and my larger dry towel. So a lot of you guys have questions about paraffin. Love paraffin, it is amazing. So what you wanna do is put a little bit of paraffin into your bags. When you see paraffin very liquefied, like how you see it here, it is extremely hot. There is no way you should put anybody's hands or feet into paraffin when it is that hot. You want to simply shake the bag. Make sure that you're holding it. You see I'm holding the edge, making sure that nothing's coming out. You don't want to shake it up and down with one hand because it can bust your bag and then it's a hot mess. So you want to just rub it together till you see that it's kind of lightening up in color. And no matter what color paraffin you buy, you'll see that it's going to start to turn 
a little bit lighter sometimes it'll be like milky white but you want to get that consistency it should not be loose and liquidy and you want to place that onto your client's foot press it into the skin i like to move it around if i know they have like a certain area that's drier than others i like to push it so it kind of targets those areas but you want to make sure that it's definitely cool enough for your client and you can do this simply by just looking at it it should look like this when you are putting it on their feet if you have a couple spots like you see it's a couple spots that is still very liquidy it's fine because it's majority cool down and only a little bit you want to catch it right at the point where you can still glide it onto someone's skin but it's not fully cooled and it's not extremely hot so after that's on the feet i'm gonna go ahead and put a hot towel on each foot and then wrap that and let her hang on and chill for about five six minutes and i usually clean my implements and clean up a little bit while she's kind of chilling in paraffin So to remove paraffin, you want to simply grab the bag from the top and try to get as much into the bag as possible. Not 100% will come out, but it just makes sense. Don't just pull it from by the toes or by the fingers if you're doing hands. You want to pull it from the top part and then just pull down. I'm actually squeezing her calf and her foot the whole time that I'm coming down because I want all of that or most of it to land into the bag and not all over my floor. And then that warm towel, which is cool by now, I'll use that to just wipe off any little traces. And then I'll go back over both of them with the dry towel just to make sure I get all the paraffin off. Sometimes they can get like underneath the toenails and stuff. So you want to make sure you just remove all of that with the towel. And lastly, I'll go back in with that spray. It's a, a oil that I use and I'll just spray the entire foot because before I only did like the calf and you know, she's been wiped down and all this stuff. So just to kind of lock in all that moisture, I like to go in with some type of oil and just spread that all over the legs and the feet as well. So the newest addition to this pedicure is the foot massager and the eye mask so that comes at the end for sanitary reasons i do put another paraffin bag over the feet so that she can put her foot into the foot massager and i can use this all over or else i would have to take that liner out of the foot massager and wash it between everybody and that's not happening so i just use a paraffin liner bag so nobody is nobody's skin is directly touching this machine for sanitary reasons and i'll have her put her foot into the foot massager
This pedicure also includes a disposable steam eye mask. And guys, I'm going to put all this on my Amazon storefront. It is amazing. I think everybody is more amazed that it actually heats up. And while they only sit for a little bit with it, these disposable eye masks heat up for about 30 to 40 minutes. They are so comfortable. So once she has her feet into the machine, I go ahead and place the eye mask onto her face and it starts to warm as soon as you break the seal and open it. I recline the chair back so I have the regular chair massager going. I have the foot massager going. She has her eye mask and then I'll change the music in the room to a spa vibe. I have a spa playlist that I put on and I'll turn off the light and just let them hang out. The foot massager goes for about 15 minutes and so does my chair. So I literally leave them for 15 minutes after this to just complete the massage and relax and unwind and they totally love it. So after the 15 minutes, if they didn't fall asleep, I let them know that unfortunately your time is up and we need to move on to your nails or I have to cut this. We have my, I have my next appointment. So I'll lift the chair up and, you know, they always are like, oh my God, this eye mask is everything. So they love it so much. And I'll just remove her feet from the paraffin liners. And that is all for the deluxe spa pedicure. Guys, everything that I have done in this pedicure, I will list on my Amazon storefront underneath a new list called Deluxe Spa Pedicure. You guys know I love changing up pedicures and now is the season, so get into it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.